Hey YouTubers, okay this is just a little standalone video of my Green Bank 12 kilowatt hour battery. So I'm just going to nip in here and change the fuse because uh, when my inverter went pop this blew the fuse. So I just took out the four screws either side and the two screws on the top. So it's that total of 12 and uh, we're just going to whip the cover off and have a look inside. Cover off, just a few things to see. So. LED display and the power switch boot up the BMS BMS is down here uh, some software and some hardware control in there can't really see a relay or any any transistors but they must be in there under these two connectors so switching on the ground board uh, we've also got some comms and some software dips coming up onto the output terminals on those output terminals um, just that 4, four AWG cable uh, and into my shenanigans outside and then looking at the main battery there is this battery protector this has fallen off and looking at the batteries uh, all looking good my only concern there is for some reason all of the data has been deleted off each of the cells. So I'm going to reach out to my supplier there and ask that question. And in addition, this cell doesn't have a cover, which is weird. But otherwise, uh, we've just got the bus bars, so you can, we'll count the number of cells in a minute. So it's 48 volts. Uh, so what have we got? One, two, three, four. I'm 16, uh, so it's 52 volts, so that's the 3.7 per cell, so roughly 4 volts. So 16 times 4, 4 6 is a 28, plus the 40, that's 68. Don't know about my maths there. So we've got a couple of little temperature sensors on these two, same down on these two buses here. Uh, we've got all those buses, and these appear to be welded to the cells, which is a bit concerning if I get a cell problem. But uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. And the BMS has just been pop riveted onto each of those cells. So these two, these two, and these two get monitored. That one's not monitored. I oh, had yeah, that one's monitored across there. Across there, 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 all the way down. Hopefully, yep. This one's monitored off this one with that link cable. All the way down to the bottom. Okay, so nothing too surprising there, apart from a bit of dust on the inside, which is a bit weird. And a footprint, which is very weird. And uh, we'll get this fuse changed out. It's got 150 in there at the moment, so I think we'll put another 150 back in. 70 volt DC, and uh, we'll see how we go. I can't remember what the rating is on this uh, board. The other thing is these cells are just strapped together, look, just with these straps. So that is charged up, so we've got the 48 volts running on there at the moment. And I'm just going to put a little battery meter here, just so I can keep my eye on it. Alright, so let's get that fuse changed and get that back running. Okay, so we've got that um, new fuse back in. Got that all back together, and we're now getting 54 volts on the output terminals when the uh, software's turned on. So uh, let's get that all back together and get the inverter in. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you're not watching the other videos.